Venn diagram. Today we are going to take a look at how to complete a Venn diagram. Within the Venn diagram, you have two circles, and each circle has a name. The names represent what we are comparing and contrasting. The name can be at the top or bottom of the circle. For our demonstration today, we are going to compare and contrast Makiko with Yuki. The way that we complete a Venn diagram is as follows. On the right side, where it says Makiko, we're going to write the things that make Makiko different from Yuki. On the left side, we're going to write the things that make Yuki different from Makiko. In the middle, we're going to write what things they have in common or what things make them the same. To review, on this right side, we list the things that make Makiko different from Yuki. On the left, we list the things that make Yuki different from Makiko. And in the middle, we list the things that they have in common, are the same about them. Some things that Makiko and Yuki have in common is that they are both Japanese and like ice skating. So I would write these things here in the middle. Now, what is different about them? Let's start with Makiko first. What is different about her? Well, Makiko comes from Okinawa, so that is a difference. She also has long hair and wears it in a ponytail often. These are things that are different about Makiko. Now, let's talk about Yuki. Well, Yuki is from Tokyo. She has short hair and wears glasses. These are things that are different about Yuki, and we can write them on the left. To review, on this right side, we listed the things that make Makiko different from Yuki. We wrote, she is from Okinawa. She has long hair. She wears her hair in a ponytail. On the left, we listed the things that make Yuki different from Makiko. We wrote, she is from Tokyo. She has short hair. She wears glasses. And in the middle, we listed the things that they have in common or are the same about them. We wrote, they are both Japanese. They like ice skating. This is an example of how you would fill out a Venn diagram. Remember, you can use these to find out what is the same or different about two people, places, or things. If you have questions, you can watch this video again or ask your teacher.